Story Fits. What we got here for you today is a five exercise circuit. All body weight, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This workout can be done anywhere. Let's get ready to rock. Starting off with the squat. The squat can be done with all kinds of variation. If you can't get this kind of depth, just go as low as you can. As you're descending, you're pushing your knees apart from each other, loading those heels, keeping your head up, your chin neutral. You don't want to look to the sky. You don't want to be looking down to the ground. Nice controlled pace. Like halfway. Now if you want to add some intensity, you can move in place. Raise those hands up. Ah, it's the bell. Coming up next is a push-up. Standard push-up position, hands a little bit wider, elbows flared. Okay, if you can't do a regular push-up, go ahead and drop down, do them from your knees. This would be level one, this is level two. Nice and controlled. Keep those abs tight. I like to squeeze my quads and my glutes while I'm doing it just to create a little bit more muscular tension, create a little bit more calorie burn. Push that floor away from me. Squeezing my elbows towards the midline. Halfway. Now if you can't do all 50 seconds, just do what you can. You'll get better as long as you keep doing it. All right, what's coming next is a plank variation. This is for ab training. Contrary to popular belief, I'm gonna go side. You don't need to be doing sit-ups and crunches. This is a push-up plank right here. If you can't hold yourself up and you need to drop down to your knees, this would be level one. Now, if this is easy for you, you can go ahead and start pulling those knees to your chest. All I need to cross body. Get him out wide. Get those abs tight. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it so you can see it again. I like the push up, I like to create tension with my glutes and my quads. Pushing my armpits to my hips. Trying to get that back muscle to contract a little bit. Ooh. Now we're gonna go reverse lunge. Ooh, alternate. Here we go. Stepping back, building that front heel. Okay. Now, if this is too challenging for you, if you have, don't have the mobility in your hips, if you're struggling with the balance, you can go ahead. Just make it a split squat, right here. Again, I'm loading the front heel and the back toe, okay? Other side would look like this. If you wanna add a little bit of intensity, speed up a little bit, get a little hot in there. Whatever the case may be, just work. Last but not least is the run in place. It may seem silly, but this is the hardest one, in my opinion, of the whole, of all five. Pivoting in those shoulders, getting those hands pumping, lift the hip, bringing those knees up, driving those toes down. Find your pace, find your pace, keep it, keep it. Some fun, move it around a little bit. Side, side, back. 
Shoes untied. Woo! Keep working. Keep pushing. Got 10 seconds. Maybe take for 10. Oh. Oh. Don't tell me you need more than five minutes to work out. Done. Uh.